And right now on our Fox Sports Hotline, we are treating your fans to some time here with the queen of spades, Shayna Baszler. Shayna, how are you doing today? I'm doing, I'm actually doing not too bad for having woke up earlier than I otherwise would have for you guys. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Well, we yeah. appreciate you doing that because I know that you were uh, watching the NFL draft last night. You're a Vikings fan, if I'm not mistaken. How do you feel about Teddy Bridge- Bridgewater joining the team? Um, you know, I think he's a steal at 32, but, um, you know, we'll see. He's one of those guys that I kind of, I mean, um, I'm surprised he was there and I'm, I'm, I think we're lucky to have got him as late as we did. I, I, I really wanted us to take quarterback our, our first pick. Um, but you know, I can understand needing to bolster the defense after losing Jared Allen and some of those guys. So, um, you know, he he's one of those Bridgewater's one of those guys that I think we're gonna have to see um, how how it how it pans out. He could be a bust, but he could be good too. So we'll see. I think he definitely has a lot of potential, so he'll make for a good Viking. But like you said, we'll have to see. But you're joining us today because you are actually going on a tour to the Middle East with actually one of your teammates, Jessamyn Duke, and then also Cody Bollinger, who was on uh, The Ultimate Fighter, Darren Cruikshank. And you guys are going to go out there for the troops. Tell us a little bit about this upcoming tour. Um, yeah, well, uh, we're going We're going. To the Middle East for two weeks, and we're pretty much we're pretty much traveling to a different uh, military base every other day. And we're just going to go out and visit the troops, and uh, um, you know, show them some show them some things, do, do some seminars, show them some things, and uh, maybe even get to roll with them a little bit. Just kind of, um, you know, it's it's what we have, it's the thing we do, so it's our way to give back. And it's it, I think um, I, I did a tour with uh, AFE uh, a few months ago. And uh, you know, all the soldiers are always really appreciative of, of of stuff like that. And it was it was one of the best things I did. It was fun. That's great. And uh, I think a lot of people will appreciate you giving back so much, doing this for the troops. That's an awesome thing to do. And uh, speaking of giving back, you're gonna finally make your UFC debut <laughs> against Beche Correa. She last faced your training partner, Jessamine Duke, your teammate, part of the Four Horsewomen. And then she put up her fingers and put one down. And uh, it's time probably for Shayna Baszler to unload the wrath on her, right? Yeah, you know, it It, it was um, – every, everyone knows – everyone that's a fan of me knows I'm a fan of pro wrestling and whatnot. And um, I could even say that in, in a – if done differently, I could appreciate such a gesture. <laughs> I'm a pro wrestling fan in me. But the thing is, is that – that that hit me wrong was that she shook my hand and then turned around and did it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, people might not understand, or I have a lot of people that hate on me that think it, it's I'm being hypocritical. But you know, if if you're gonna do, I don't, I don't know. I don't shake my hand next time if you're gonna do it. I don't think I would be as mad if she just hadn't shaken my hand. Like, when you shake my hand in my mind, it's like, okay, we're putting it away. We're buried in the storyline. It's good. See you later. You know, so to to pull that out afterwards, it was, I think also, you know, of course, I was caught up in the moment with uh, with Jess losing and stuff. So it probably just um, fanned the flame a little. But, yeah, I have to, I'm going to take my four fingers and see how she likes <laughs> them, I guess. So it basically, it went from a work to a shoot real quickly, huh? <laughs> see, I, um, see I, I'm a wrestling fan too, uh, Shane. I grew up watching wrestling. I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> you know, uh, so so yeah, going from a, a work to a shoot that 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 has to hit hit, hit home. I understand. Yeah, it's 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 a shoot. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's it's. Uh, I guess if you if you follow pro wrestling deep enough, then you know that when those guys. Um, cut promos or do things. It's a little bit of a shoot if it's good. You know, all the really good promos, all the really good rivalries have a little bit of truth to them. So, um, you know, I think that carries over right now. It's it's definitely a shoot. I I don't have any. Um, I, I'm not gonna have any love loss when I beat her. I'll say that. So, uh, it's 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 uh, 
I don't know, and it, it, it's good, you know, because I've been fired up to get back in there for months now. Everybody knows I had I had a couple injuries and stuff, and um, it's just extra extra motivation on top of on top of it being my debut. Um, there's kind of this bad taste in in my mouth now, so um, it's <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. And it's like in my backyard, you know, yeah. it's the Staples Center, so um, it's even better. What were your injuries, Shane? I was just curious because I remember seeing you in, I think, a walking boot at one point. Crutches. Yeah. Yeah, I had a. Uh, I broke my ankle um, before the finale. Uh, it wasn't anything serious. It was just bad timing. And uh, got back to training, uh, uh, full on, took the fight I was supposed to have with uh, Kaufman, and just uh, at the at the exactly wrong moment in the middle of the, of that camp when I was supposed to be peaking, I threw my. It was a really weird injury. I threw my hip out, which made my back spasm, which oh. pulled my back out, which compressed them. So it was um. Like, I was bedridden for, like, three days, and I couldn't really go 100% for a couple weeks. And so my coaches kind of decided, uh, you know, if you're not going to get the training in that you need, we don't want to go into this fight going, well, I hope she's in shape. I hope she was able to get enough training in. And, you know, UFC debut isn't something to um, leave to chance like that. So uh, yeah. especially against an opponent like Kaufman, she's we respect her a lot and um, just not, wouldn't have been smart. At the time, I was, like, throwing a fit and arguing with them and crying and all that. But, uh, you know, in, in retrospect, it was it was probably smart. But. Well, but talk about that. You're, I mean, UFC debut. I mean, Shayna Baszler, you have been in this sport for over 10 years, and you are making your UFC debut. How does that finally sound? Yeah, it's like I was uh, explaining to someone you know, it's it's like I I have to have at least this fight. You know, um, it's I started back when people were signing up at the door and walking into the barn, and they were like looking at you like, yeah, you're about the same size, and you know, there's no blood work, there was no <laughs> medical. I don't even know if there was a medical personnel in the building when people would fight. Like nobody knew what MMA was. Um, those were the days when I started just going to these shows that I'd see a poster on a signpost in downtown Sioux Falls, South Dakota and show up at these shows and uh, to have, to be active, um, not just, you know, there's, there's girls that were active at that time and there's girls that, have, that are pioneers um, besides me, before me, all that, but I, I'm in a really lucky position where um, I'm active and competitive during all this growth, you know, I watched organization come and go that was going to promote women. And I signed with all the biggest promotions for female fighting at that time, you know, and, um, um, sort of finally, uh, have this fight in the pinnacle is, is, you know, it's like the stamp at the end of the book. It's like the, the closing of, uh, I don't know the movie in the movie version. This I have to have this, you know. Uh, what better story? What better story than winning the honor of my team? No, a absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there are times like I look at, and you know I think back to because I've been watching women's MMA for quite a long time, and I look and you talk about that you're still around, and like I think how girls like Kelly Kobold or Amanda Buckner would do today. Mm -hmm. You know, where they would be. I remember you watching you fight uh, in Russia, you know, or at the Bodog fights or whatever. Just seeing you for so many years and finally seeing you back, or not back, but in the UFC, it's very exciting. And we could talk about women's MMA and the growth and where it's going for days with you yeah. right now. And But we are so up against yeah. the clock. But I have to ask you, you talked about being a professional wrestling fan. Okay, who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Of all time, uh -huh. um, I would have to say Shawn Michaels or Ric Flair. I like the heels. But Rhonda, so. Rhonda took Ric Flair from you, right? She's Ric Flair and the Four Horsewomen. Yeah, <laughs> we we argued about that actually for quite a while. But um, I conceded that, especially to the public, she would she definitely has to be Ric Flair. Amongst us, I definitely have a, a sense of humor, and um, I'm a little bit more uh i'm the entertainer of the four of us yeah um but definitely to the public gotta be rick Flair. so 
I conceded that because our VA too, you know. So um, I, I conceded that I'll be Arn and she can be Rick as long as she's Goku and I'm Vegeta. <laughs> in the Dragon Ball movie. So. <laughs> but you are Arn Anderson. Just I mean, you know, speaking as a, as the Horseman equivalent in the Four Horsewomen. Yep. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, before you were training with Rousey and Duke and Shafir, uh, you were with Josh Barnett. Do you still work with him at all? Yeah, definitely. I'm actually uh, getting ready to go work out with him right now. Cool. Um, I, I, uh, it, it's funny because um, Josh gives me a hard time because he's been trying ever since he started working with me like eight, nine years ago uh, to get me to come out to L.A. And I just didn't for whatever reason in life or whatever um and then you know Rhonda I come out to visit Rhonda one time and I basically just never left the west and, coast uh, is beautiful like, <laughs> yeah and he's just like what I've been trying to get you out here forever you <laughs> meet her on a tv show and just hang out and now you're here this is, you know so yeah he actually um he helped me find a car out here and um I trained with him about three times a week uh so it's 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 good. I, I definitely, Josh is the war master. He's in it for the long haul, too. So. Absolutely. One of my favorites of all time. Now, let me just ask you one quick question before we close out and we have to run to a break. Will we get the classic Shayna Baszler entrance with the guitar around the back? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I've been trying to think. I, of, worst comes to worst, you know that I'll think of something. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if but it'll be it'll be something. All right, cool. <laughs> At least it's something. I want some sort of uh. I, I you say you're the entertainer. I want some entertainment on that entrance. Okay, Shayna. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again, Shayna, so much for joining us. Again, her debut is coming up. UFC 176 at the Staples Center in L.A., August 2nd. She's taking on Beche Correa, who's calling out the four horse women. And Shayna is going to try to put that talk to an end. Shayna, again, if you're still on the line, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys.